These truffle fries are loaded with flavor. They are one of my favorite sides to make. They only have five ingredients and they are absolutely scrumptious. Let's make some. I started with one Idaho potato and I scrubbed it, scrubbed it, scrubbed it, scrubbed it. And I cut it in nice strips. And we are going to season and fry these. I'm going to put them in a bowl. This recipe is so easy to make. I mean, it's ridiculously easy. Season with some salt. You don't have to worry about soaking your potatoes or anything like that because we're cooking them right away. Now, if you want to cut them up, if you have a lot to cut, I only cut up one, but if you did have a lot to cut and you weren't going to cook them right away, then, you know, you could soak them in water and that's going to stop them or prevent them from getting brown. These are nicely seasoned and I am going to use some corn starch. And I am sprinkling just a little on here because we don't want the potato to soak up too much oil. And this is going to ensure that our potatoes are nice and crispy and it's not going to change the flavor. And I am working with my hands because I want to make sure that this cornstarch gets over all the potatoes feel free to put them in a in a bag or a shake proof container <laughs> it's up to you i like it this way Ooh we these are going to fry and let's make up the parmesan garlic parsley <laughs> topping it's time to make the toppings for the truffle fries. Very, very simple. Three ingredients, garlic, fresh parsley, Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna chop the garlic first. Watch your, watch your fingers. Then I'm going to add the Parmesan cheese. And we are just going to chop. And this is going to look nice and beautiful on top of those hot potatoes. There you go. Topping complete. When it's time, we are going to drop these in a pan. We don't want to overcrowd the pan. We might have to put these in. Let me see if I can get them all in here. I think I can get them all. But you don't want your pan to be too full. You want one layer. One layer. There we go. One more. I did it. One layer. These have been frying for a few minutes. I'm going to come and turn them. And they might stick together. And that's okay because they had the moisture from the potato mixed with the cornstarch. That's fine. That's okay. I'll flip them together if I have to. But look at these. Oh, these are nice. Now this is, we're not rushing these. These are going to take some time to cook. We want, we want them nice and tender on the inside, crispy on the outside. So my heat is on a medium high. If you have the numbers, mine is, is in between a number 6 and a 7. If yours go all the way up to 10, mine is between a 6 and a 7.
these are nice golden brown it's time to take them out now I take them out depending on how they look so the more brown ones I take those out first I'm going to shake it put them in a bowl with a paper towel we want to drain as much oil from these before we garnish them I want these nice and crisp and delicious. So our three that was hanging out on the side, take these out. And yes, I do shake. And I do. Tongs are perfect for cooking french fries. And anything that you have to pick up individually or turn, you know, they work better they're kind of like your hands, your fingers. And when you put them in your bowl, I always try to find an open part of paper towel. So when I say I don't really like these on top of each other, all the way to the very end, they stay separate. One layer, one layer. Turn these last two. One layer. All right, that's an open spot. Let's season these up. We have our bowl of fries. They have been draining. Now I can get rid of this paper towel. I am using black truffle oil. Truffle oil is really strong oh it just has that wonderful flavor that i love you only need a little of this truffle oil a little goes a long way i'm gonna put did y'all see the difference i'm gonna say for this potato approximately about a tablespoon a tablespoon let me see that's delicious. I love the taste of truffle oil. About one and a half tablespoons. There we go. Load it up. I want that truffle flavor. We're going to take our mixture of garlic. Yep. Parmesan and parsley. Oh my goodness. And, and don't be stingy. I'm using it all. Oh my goodness. And just toss them in there. Goodness gracious. Yes, I'm not excited. I love truffle fries. And this is what you have. Can you see all that seasoning on that fry? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. It came out perfectly. Oh. Bon appetit. Let's eat.